with just the automatic. Oh, snow tires might be crucial here. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a hot minute since I've posted, but I'm excited to bring a SnowRunner gameplay to you, and I am driving the new Ram 1500. Uh, I just picked this up. I didn't get a whole lot of upgrades on it. The only thing I did make sure to put in was the upgraded towing package as far as the engine goes. So uh, yeah, I think we're just going to drive around. I'm trying to do a port polar base supply run. I'm just going to pick up a trailer right now. So. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Now, so far, this is probably my favorite modded truck. Like, by a long shot, this thing is awesome to drive. The other ones I have tend to be, like, once you hit third gear, you tend to just make the jump to hyperspace. You're just going so fast. Plus, the interior is just so well modded. And, uh, yeah. I'll try to add the, uh, what's it called? The uh, mod link in the description so you guys can test it out as well. Ooh, I don't have snow tires on. Yeah, so that's the next upgrade I'm definitely putting on this. If I have enough money, I'll do the lift kit and the snow tires as well so I uh, get that extra traction. Seems I left a trail here. Not the correct one. Ooh. Can't attach that, so I'll go around. Oh, did I take a wrong turn? Ooh, handbrake. Nope, I'm still good. Oh my god. No traction, but working with what I got. Yeah, so this comes with all-wheel drive and differential lock, um, pre-equipped, and will uh, be constantly on. I don't... I think it also comes with a... Uh, actually, let me just check quickly. No, it doesn't. So it only comes with a low gear. It doesn't come with that uh, dual low and high. But so far, I haven't needed to use low gear. I've only needed to use the, uh, the just the automatic. Ooh. Oh, snow tires might be crucial here. Come on, baby. Okay, so I should be able to... Where is this bad boy? It's up the hill here. I could go over there and come up, which is what I'm going to do, actually. Yeah, so I have other trucks, as far as mod goes, in um, my garage, if you guys want me to take a look at those ones and show you what those are like. Um, or, um, what was I going to say? I can show you just kind of a career thing with this truck specifically and show you what upgrades you can do. Um, I think I got this for 19 grand, so it's relatively uh, cheap for what you get. Now it does have the upgraded engine in it, as I said, so it came out to about 24, 25 grand, which is more than enough. All right, new trailer discovered, awesome. Up. Awesome. What does it have on the back currently? 
cargo. What does it have? I don't know. How can you tell what cargo that is? I guess he can't really. It's got repair equipment on it. Right. Uh, we're actually going to pack it and remove the cargo. Cool. Alright, we have to pick up some bricks, metal beams, and fuel. So I guess we can start the fuel station since it's. Oh no, actually. Is that bricks? There's a stone fall there, rock fall. No, I think we'll go... I don't know which one I want to do. Polar base is up there, so I want to do the farthest possible one from that. Which looks like it's going to be the fuel station, so let's go hit up the fuel station. Now, I haven't used this with a trailer yet, so I'm excited to see what that includes. Ooh. Definitely didn't come this way. It's alright. I'm always down to explore some locations. Just as long as my truck doesn't get damaged. Oh. That's not what I wanted. God, this truck is just cruising through this. I can't wait to get the lift kit and snow tires on it because it is just going to crush this weather. Where am I? If I keep going straight and then left? Left or right? If I go left, I have to cross this like river thing. If I go right, it's longer. Screw it. Let's, I haven't seen this bad boy on rivers yet, so let's see how that works out. Come on. I also don't have a winch on this. Or do I? I might have a winch on this, I can't tell. So we'll uh, hopefully not get stuck, because that would be very bad. Oh, camera. Shorter route, but riskier route. Come on. This thing's just crushing this weather. Ooh, an upgrade. Well, I think it's definitely getting that. Attached trailer. Oh, oh my god, this truck is well worth 19. God, it looks great too. I don't know if I'll keep the red. I like black when it comes to uh, rams, but I will not complain with red because it does look nice. So I have no idea if this music's copyrighted or not, so that will be a fun test. Water over road. 
Alright, Ram, let's see what you can really do here. It's got no snorkel kit on it, no upgraded tires. Besides the engine, this thing is pretty much stock. Oh my god. Here we go, come on. No issues at all. Shouldn't even sweat. I would like for them to upgrade the engine noise because it's very quiet. One of the things I do, I'm more of a Ford guy myself, but one of the things I do enjoy of uh, Rams is. Uh, nice. Is, um, is when you accelerate, they just sound raw. Like, they just do not care. Alright, what's the quickest way to get to this polar base? Ooh, I prefer not to go all the way around. I might turn left and hopefully this road up here takes me there. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, you can kind of hear that r ram sound coming from it, but it's very quiet. We're going for round two through the water. I don't have that run up in the shallows over there. I'm going to go straight into the deep water, so we'll see how uh, see how it fares now. Hopefully, just as well. Yeah, this thing's not even freaking breaking a spike going through this. No, okay, we went down to one there, but we're going right back up again. Good tips. Already got a trailer hooked up. But oil fields. No, I want to go. I want to keep going straight. I don't want to turn at all. Honestly, if the developer comes out and gives that engine some overhaul and makes it sound like how a ramp should sound, this truck's going to be a solid 10 out of 10. Okay, we got a little bit of ice here. Okay. Oh. Okay, so it struggles a little bit on ice, but, you know, has <laughs> off-road tires on it and not winter tires, so... I'm not expecting ultra grip. Oh my god. Now it does have that engine damage. That's only one, so it's not like this thing. Oh, here we go. From the looks of it, I don't have a whole lot of winching spots, so I gotta hopefully bank on this truck killing it, which it is. I gotta say, this truck looks great. I'm definitely more of a Ford guy, but I'm not one of those guys who are like, oh my god, Dodge and Chevy all suck. Like, I don't like those guys. They're all trucks. Enjoy what you like. But, yeah, so as far as other TLC trucks go, if you want me to take show you what those ones are, I've got the uh, old Ford-style pickup truck, square body one. Um which I love. Huge lift kit on it. Like, it just looks awesome. It sounds great. If you want me to take that out and show you guys what that's like. I also have a Chevy, but it's a newer model Chevy. Oh, come on, baby. Yeah, it's a newer model Chevy. And it also looks just really nice. And it drives really nice. But it has that same problem the other ones have, which is third gear is just 
next thing you know, you're going 250 miles an hour, which shouldn't happen. Like this one's very smooth and nice accelerating. Is that realistic? Yeah. I find that ramps can be pretty. Uh, yeah, I want to turn left or right up here. I can find that rams are uh, pretty quick on the acceleration. I used to drive one of my old landscaping job for uh, for a little bit. We did snow work and stuff like that, and the truck just he would spin wheels pretty quickly, especially just in two wheel. So yeah, not Ford or sorry, not Ford. Uh, Dodge definitely does not shy away from that power. So yeah. That's kind of a little unrealistic with this truck, but I prefer the slow acceleration and nice speed that compared to like the other DLC, which are slow to start off with, but as soon as you hit third, fourth, and fifth gear, like you're just zipping. So it's harder to control, but you know, still lovely designs. There we go, come on. If you guys are liking the content as well, just make sure you uh, hit the like button, comment down below what you want me to see, or you, what you want to see next, and uh, yeah, I'll, uh, and like and subscribe as well so you can take a look at future content. Definitely helps out the channel, makes me uh, makes me very happy, and I do read every comment, so you know, keep that in mind. Also, if you want to play games with me, let me know as well. Because I have a decent setup going for me right now. It's not perfect, obviously. But uh, I can play most games at 60 FPS, so, you know, don't shy away from those other games. Ooh, a little bit of frame uh, stuttering there. Ooh, okay. Let's let the frame rates raise a little bit. really does not like that alley. Just as I was talking about my setup. Yeah, it should run most games at 60 frames per second. I haven't had an issue up to this point, but for whatever reason, it does not like that spot. There we go. I'm back up again. I don't believe I'm playing on ultra settings either. I'm playing on high. Am I going right or left here? I'm going right. Yeah, this thing has no issues through the mud. Hear that engine roar. Yeah, the interior is so well done. Like, that is a ramp. You would not be able to tell me otherwise. my turn? Or do I have to... Oh, okay. Road's a little flooded here. But Ram don't care. Guts, glory, Ram. Not sponsored by Ram. If... Oh, first time stuck? Come on. Come on. Don't have to go in the low gear. Come on. This truck, yeah, it does not care. Yeah, I'm not sponsored by Ram. Ram, if you want to sponsor me and give me a free truck, I would not be mad. I'd be pretty shocked, but I would not be mad.
only one supply, that's rough. Alright guys, uh, I think I'm going to end the video there. If you guys liked what you saw, if you want to see more, make sure you comment below and like the video. And subscribe to keep up with my recent content. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and catch you on the flip side.